Have you seen Chloe this morning? Nope. She didn't come home last night. Well, let's just hope it's the start of a trend. Oh, if I didn't know you any better, I'd say you were turning into a bit of a grouch. Yeah, we had a nice evening. A place to ourselves. Yeah. And didn't we make the most of it, eh? Mm. Actually, Jack might walk in, eh? I doubt it. Why? He's resigned. What? Well, I can't say I'm exactly pleased about it myself. What did you do, Chris? No, it's a point of principle. And as you don't have any, I'm assuming you mean his. He's too proud for his own good. He backs himself into a corner where he has to resign or admit that he's in the wrong. He's the best estate manager we could have. He's an ex-farmer who, without a job, won't know what to do with himself. He'll be back. Trust me. Well, I'm popular today. Why, who else has been round? Brian, funnily enough. You're not telling me he's after your job already. I think I'd better not get involved in that one. Cos I was hoping I could go back and tell Chris that it's not available. Well, you can go back and tell him what you like, but you won't find me coming back. Jack, I know what he can be like. He drives me mad half the time, but you can't say you didn't realise what it'd be like working for him. Oh, I knew it. But I thought I could bite my tongue for the sake of the money. I've learned different. Right. And what are you going to say to your kids now when you've nothing coming in? Not your problem, I'd have thought. <sighs> Look, Jack, I understand you. We're from the same side of tracks, you and me. Are we? Well, we've both had to earn a living. Both too proud for our own good. And I know Chris isn't the most sympathetic when it comes to you farmers and what you've had to put up with, but you know as well as I do. Each man for himself these days. Hang on a sec. You got lucky, you got a job. And, well, people like you and me, we can't afford to look a gift horse in mouth. I stop right there. Well, what have I said? More than enough. Jack, you have to stop thinking like a farmer and move on. And well, that's exactly what I'm doing, and so are you. Out of here. You know something, Jack? You need this job as much as we need you. We'll see, shall we? Thanks for coming. Look, Jack... Don't what... hurry back. Oh. court might have a lot of sympathy for someone in your position. Ray had a history of violence. Maybe it was self-defence. Maybe you'd feel better if you told me exactly what happened. Louise, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, are you going to charge me? Did you do it? Did you? Leave it. Louise. Listen, is that police woman here? Yeah, but... I saw your car. Um, my husband said he'd been looking for me. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, I know. But I've got some information that I think you might find interesting. And you couldn't be mistaken about the time? I remember, cos uh, when Louise walked in the kitchen, I had just put some mince pies in the oven and they needed ten minutes. That was definitely 5.40. And I presume that's exactly how you remember it, too? Yeah. That sounds about right. Listen, I hope I'm not getting anyone into any trouble here. Oh, far from it. And you be prepared to make a statement to that effect? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it'll help. Right, well, looks like you're in the clear then, doesn't it? I'll report my findings back to the coroner. Well, then what will happen? He'll declare his verdict. And what will that be? Best leave that to him, eh? Hope the funeral's all right. What happened? Well, I think she's going to get away with it. I don't understand. What have you done? Well, I saw that Dove's car was still parked outside. I didn't think you could hold her off for much longer. So... So you got Charity to come and lie for me? Oh, would you rather I hadn't? Why would you do that for because me? Because Ray was scum! The things he did, he threatened me more than once, you know. I'd have done exactly the same if I'd been given the chance. And what is it that you think I've done? Ray was stalking you. Kind of makes a weird sense now. He, he was mad. Don't talk about him. Look, Louise, I am on your side. I'm not going to tell anyone. 
Our little secret's safe. Just the three of us. He loved me. Oh, please. He deserved it. You wanted him dead. It happened. I didn't. I didn't want him dead. It was an accident. 